Hi guys, good morning. I am back with a what I eat and cook in a day video. So I love doing these ones. I try and do these maybe once a month on YouTube. I feel like that's a perfect amount because then you get like a variety of what I cook and all that fun stuff. So I woke up not too long ago. Recently I've been getting up a little earlier, like nine-ish because of this girl. Say hi. Were you chilling in here watching mama edit? Yes, you were. But right when I wake up, I'm not hungry, so I usually wait like a couple hours until I'm hungry. Some days I do wake up and I'm hungry, and then some days I'm like, I could go until like 2 p.m. But right now, it is about 11, and I'm going to make myself a breakfast sandwich, one of my favorites. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with sausage McMuffins from McDonald's, the best breakfast sandwich, and now I make one at home. I mean, McDonald's is still like gonna be better, but I mean, they taste like completely different. Like McDonald's, McDonald's is McDonald's. A homemade one is like a restaurant. Like it tastes just like good. But McDonald's is good too. It's just like totally two different things. Also, I want to share where I got my PJs from. Look how cute these are. I'm wearing them for when I make breakfast. Look how cute these are. And then it came with these bottoms and these are actually reversible which is super fun and it just came with the top the tank top i put on separately but i got these at victoria's secret and i'm like this is perfect to wear in this video while i make some breakfast so it's super easy i just have to show you guys the stuff i use okay guys so what i like to use this sausage i got this at walmart i've never heard of this brand i just saw it and i was like i'm gonna try these out i also have this sausage i do like this one as well but the Patties are much smaller, they're like this size, so it doesn't really fit on a sandwich too well. And I'm going to add an egg on top as well. And of course, we have, we have to use this cheese. The best cheese ever, I don't care what anyone says. People will literally hate on me, like I'll make, there was this one time I made a pasta dish and I finished it off with, with this. Some good old Parmesan in a container. Everyone was like, you completely ruined it when you did that. I'm like, I'm sharing the recipe. Just be like happy and scroll. Like you can put whatever cheese you want on top of it. It's like, and then same with this. Like, oh, you ruined it once you put the fake plastic cheese on it. Well, guess what? Well, guess what? I hear footsteps. You can put whatever cheese you like. But I know this cheese is bad. I should probably get out of the habit of loving it. Um... Cause I think like in the ingredients, it doesn't even say there's like cheese. <laughs> but at the moment, I love it and it's perfect for like a breakfast sandwich. Other than that, I haven't been eating it as much. I used to eat it as like a snack at night, maybe five, five times a week. Um, I would eat a slice or two, like as a midnight snack. I haven't been doing that, so that's good. All right, so first in your pan, you're gonna add some water and heat it up. This will make the sausage juicy just put it on medium heat so you cook them like four minutes on each side i feel like it doesn't take that long but that's what the box says next step i'm just going to put my english muffin in the toaster so i'm gonna pop that in there for two minutes look at these dog toys <laughs> adorable and then in my favorite little pan i'm just going to cook up my eggs so then everything is done at the same time the seasoning i'm going to use on my egg i have been really liking this one it's from trader joe's and it's called the everyday seasoning oh she hit the bell maybe she has to go out shoot i'm cooking all right i'm just gonna like turn these off shoot okay i am back it is raining and freezing out there and i just went out there in shorts and she didn't even have to go so and then since these sausages come raw, I always check the temperature. Perfect. Okay, English muffin perfectly toasted. I'm gonna put the bottom. And then my over easy egg with cheese. And then the sausage. Okay, and then on top, sriracha mayo, always my freaking favorite. I have tried like every sriracha mayo from the bottle and nothing tastes as good as just making it yourself, just mixing these two, so that's what I do. Like, I don't know why I can't find a good sriracha mayo. If you guys have one that you think I'll like, let me know, but I don't know. I feel like they all just have like 
too much spice or something to it. So I just add a little bit of mayo here. Like some will taste like smoky and some will just taste like weird, I don't know. And then I add sriracha to the top bun. And then I just mix it on here so I don't dirty any more bowls. Okay, I'm gonna bite into it over the plate because it is a dippy egg. The best, where is the dippy egg at? There it is, I can see it's squishy. So good. Mmm. Look at that. Do you guys like your eggs running? I feel like you either love it or hate it. Mmm. I think it's so good. If you have not tried it, definitely try it. To me, it kind of tastes like butter, like an egg flavored butter. So this is my easy go-to breakfast sandwich to make at home. Sriracha mayo is a must. Honestly, it literally tastes like McDonald's. Like minus the egg, like the sausage and this cheese, it really does taste like McDonald's or like Dunkin's. And I'm having some water as well. Well guys, it is many, many hours later and that breakfast sandwich had me really full, honestly. But now I'm going to make myself a little mini acai bowl. So usually I make these in the summertime, but it is really sunny outside today. It's very cold out, very, very cold, but it's very sunny and it just kind of makes me want like a refreshing acai bowl. I'm just gonna make a little one. And also I'm in the mood for some fruit and I only have frozen fruit. I would have ate some for breakfast if I had some, but I did not. <laughs> not me putting whole bananas in the freezer. When did I do that? So I love this brand of frozen fruit. You can get this at Target, love it. And then I have some pineapple chunks, banana chunks. You could like do whatever fruit you want in it. You could do blueberries, you could do raspberries, just whatever you want. So I just kind of eyeball it all. So I'm gonna do half a banana. I enjoy making these so much just because I have a lot of fun of like making it look pretty. And I don't know, I just, I think that's so fun to like drizzle the peanut butter on top and all of that. Plus I wanna share with you guys my favorite granola and favorite coconut chips. There we go. And some pineapple, that should be good. Next, I'm going to be adding some almond milk. This is the 30 calorie one. You can get these little bottles at Mark's, which they come in handy if you're not like a big milk drinker. Like I couldn't even tell you the last time I used milk. So then I add just a little bit of milk, figure out the consistency and everything, if we need to add more milk, this and that. And then I add some chia seeds. These help you stay full and give you fiber. And lastly, just a little squeeze of honey. I like to shake it and then Okay, it looks good. So I like mine really thick because I like to make it into a bowl, but if you want to make it, you know, more liquidy, you can. So this is what it looks like. Perfect consistency. Okay, so everyone needs to try this granola. It is so good. I love coconut. Sprinkle this on this side. And then I have some frozen blueberries that I'm just going to put on the other side. And then I'm using some of this natural peanut butter and I'm just going to microwave a little bit of this. I'm just going to drizzle it on. Ooh, yummy. You guys, these are so good. I could eat this whole bag in one sitting. I didn't even know I was a, a huge fan of coconut, but it is so good. They're just like little coconut chips. Just gonna sprinkle some on top. And here is my finished smoothie bowl. Yummy, it looks so good. And I'm gonna have this with my water. Okay, let's give it a try. And then usually I put like more peanut butter in it because I love peanut butter. It's just so good. It's so good. Like just refreshing and mm. And a frozen blueberry. 
So that is my lunch for today. Look at Hershey's new bed. You have a big waffle bed. Yeah. You're sitting on a big waffle. You guys can kind of see it. <laughs> it came with a chicken, a chicken toy too for chicken and waffles. Gonna take a nap in the sun. Ooh, feels good. Today is a great day because my HelloFresh comes today. I have it scheduled for Tuesdays. And there she is. Which, shoot, I am barefoot. I need to, <laughs> I can't get that. Okay, so you guys, I have been doing HelloFresh for maybe like five months now. Honestly, a while. This is one of the meals I chose this week. I am so excited for this. Okay, let's open up. Our ingredients, let's see what we got. And then I like to keep this bag and use it as like a trash bag as I'm doing everything. What is this cute little container? Oh my gosh, look at this little ricotta cheese. So here is all of the ingredients this dinner came with. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less wasted food. Okay, so first I need to cut up the zucchini, onion, and tomato. Cooking is so fun. Do you guys remember when I literally couldn't cook at all? like years ago and now I feel like I've gotten so good. Like I enjoy it so much and maybe that's also because I love food so much so it's just like fun to make my own food. And what I do like about HelloFresh is like the recipes that I pick out aren't like typical recipes like I know about already so it wouldn't be something I'd usually make and I'll try out like new things and I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna like this and then I always end up liking it. I always end up liking it. This Valentine's Day, you could skip the overpriced and crowded restaurants and sign up for HelloFresh and cook a nice dinner with your boyfriend or girlfriend or by yourself. You can get a three course meal and that comes with a shared starter, scrumptious sides, and a delicious dessert. Like how fun is that? What's great with HelloFresh is that you get to keep your resolutions and regain control over your food choices because if I didn't have any food right now, I'd probably just like order fast food. So it really helps getting to pick out what meals you want every week and you can even choose the healthy options or the veggie options. Oh my god, my eyes are burning. <laughs> so with HelloFresh, the produce comes straight from the farm and gets to your doorstep in under a week for peak freshness. I can tell by this onion, my eyes are on fire. And at any time, you can increase your serving sizes in case you want to save some leftovers for lunch the next day. And I got a coupon code for you guys, so go to HelloFresh.com and use code STEPPAPA16 for 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. Okay, now boiling some water for the pasta, and then now we're gonna start making the sauce. So we're gonna heat up some olive oil. Look how neat my slicing was. <laughs> I like love chopping things up, I don't know why. So onion and tomato, zucchini will go in a little bit later, so this is gonna cook for like six minutes. Guys, look at my bobblehead if you have not seen this. This was in my birthday haul, actually. But look at this bobblehead of me. Me just cooking my pasta, whipping it up. My mom got me this for my birthday. I think it looks just like me. So since I do two meals a week, I usually have leftovers because mine is two servings and it's just me eating the food, except sometimes I eat both servings. Last night I made a crispy parmesan chicken. I'll put a photo right there. It was really good. I have some leftover chicken actually in my fridge. I thought it would be really good to like cut up and put it in a wrap with like lettuce and ranch and stuff. Okay, I'm adding in the marinara. Mmm, marinara. Like, I don't know what it is. Do you because I feel like most people like Alfredo and white sauce is better. For me though, marinara and any red sauce. My favorite. Okay, so next is our mound of zucchini. Look at that. That was a big zucchini. Whoop. Have you guys ever had fried zucchini planks? Those are good. I honestly didn't even know I liked zucchini until I did HelloFresh. I had like a lemon zucchini ravioli before, and I was like, wait, zucchini is so good. Next step is half of the Italian seasoning. One fourth a cup of water, and one teaspoon of sugar. A little bit more salt. And we're gonna bring this to a simmer for a few minutes. Okay, in a medium sized bowl, we are making our ricotta mixture. So dump this in here, some olive oil. 
our leftover Italian seasoning and mix it. Yum, look how good this looks. All right, pasta is done and I'm adding it to the sauce. And look how good this looks. So saucy, mm, it's so colorful. All right, so now we put half the pasta on the bottom of this pan. Next, we add the ricotta layer. We'll see if I can spread it a little bit. And then the rest of the pasta. And lastly, we're topping this off with the mozzarella cheese. And I'm covering this with foil, and I have Pam on the inside so it doesn't stick to the cheese. And 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, I cooked this perfectly. <gasps> I am so excited. All right, I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes on top. Okay, this looks so good. I am literally a chef. HelloFresh has made me a chef. I actually just steamed some broccoli really quick. I used this seasoning, so I have some broccoli, and then I also took out from the freezer my mom's homemade Outback bread. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of that with my pasta. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Look how good it looks. Yum. Anything cheesy and saucy is good. Ooh, yeah. That is so good, the ricotta in there. And the zucchini gives it like a really good flavor. I would definitely do this one again. It was easy too. Mmm. Then I just have some broccoli. Mmm, that seasoning is really good as well. That's like all I use now. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so saucy. I don't think I've ever made baked pasta before, actually. I know it's super simple, but I don't think I have. Well, guys, I'm gonna eat this and then clean my dishes because I kind of made a mess in the kitchen and then I have some editing to do and then I'll probably have a snack later after I go from the gym but that'll probably be about it I just got back from the gym and I'm about to start watching the show Euphoria finally for the very first time I have to watch season one and everything but like everyone is talking about how good it is so I'm like okay I, I finally need to watch it but I'm just gonna snack on some celery with some peanut butter, so same peanut butter I had earlier on the smoothie bowl. This is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna put some of this in like a little cup and eat my celery and watch Euphoria. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's What I Eat and Cook in a Day. Hershey says hi. She lost three baby teeth yesterday. Do you wanna show everyone? Let's see if I'll be able to show you guys. Let's see your teeth. Come here. Look, you're missing your baby teeth. I tried looking for them on the ground, but I couldn't find them. But you guys see? <laughs> Just the bottom ones. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Okay, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, click my notification bell. And let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. What you want me to cook in my next cook with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.